Hey guys, it's your ball. <laughs> your ball? Hey. <laughs> hey guys, it's your boy Paul here today, and I'm going to help you again <clears throat> with fractions. And today we're going to try to find fraction of a quantity. Okay. Again, I'm going to try to break it down <clears throat> as easy as possible so that you guys can understand it. So let's just begin. Let's go into a quick example. So let's say we want to find out what two thirds of 18 is okay that's meant to be an f so what two thirds of 18 is okay so two thirds of 18 some of you may see that and be like what the heck are you talking about paul man that is going to be flipping hard but today i'm going to show that it's actually not hard okay so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to try to find out what one third of 18 is i always like to go for the unitary method in, when solving these sorts of problems i always try to find out what a third is it depending on what fraction what um fraction of quantity we're looking for but anyway for for this per for this particular example i'm going to try to find out what one third of 18 is okay so let's write down there so one third of 18 is actually equal to 18 and we're basically going to divide it by three okay and this is going to give us six okay so what we've done is we've got our 18 there and we've divided it by three okay we've, we've divided it by three since we're only looking for one third of it okay so we're just going to divide it by three okay so we basically split 18 into three equal parts and one of those parts is six okay now we're trying to find out what two thirds of 18 is Okay, we know what one third is. We know one third is equal to six. So in order to find two thirds, all we need to do is times the one third by two. Okay, so two thirds. Oh, don't know what happened there. Just take that away quickly. So, um, where was I? So two thirds. Of 18 is going to be equal to what one third of 18 was and remember one third of 18 we just found out was 6 and we're basically going to times it by 2 6 times 2 is going to give us 12 lovely okay so we found two thirds of 18 was equal to what one third was and we times that by 2 and that is giving us 12 okay so step by step again what we've done so we try and look for two thirds of 18 we found out what one third of 18 was which was basically 18 divided by the three which which gave us the six okay and basically what we just done after was we basically doubled it because we're looking for two thirds and we got our answer there which is 12 okay so now what we're going to do we're going to go on to another example okay let us look at um let us have uh Four fifths of let's have twenty five. So we're looking for four fifths of twenty five. Okay. So again, I'm going to follow kind of like the same pattern that we we're just doing. I'm going to follow the same pattern that we we're just doing, and I'm going to find out what one fifth of twenty five is. Okay. So. So we've got one fifth of 25 is going to be equal to 25 divided by 5. Okay. And 25 divided by 5 is basically going to give us 5. Okay. Yep. So we've got, we found out what one fifth of 25 is basically the 25 divided by 5, which equals to 5. Don't get confused here. So we're just on 25 and we divided it by 5 here. Okay. And which is what we got. Um, 5. Okay. Now we want to find out what 4 fifths of 25 is. So what do you think we're going to times the 1 fifth by in order to get 4 fifths? Yep. Yeah, we're going to times it by 4. Okay. So in order to find out what 4 fifths is, so 4 fifths of 25. Is basically going to be four times 
the one fifth which we found was five. Okay, so four times five is going to give us 20. Lovely, okay. So four fifths of 25 is equal to 20. And that is the answer there, okay? Because some of you may be like, oh, what's the answer? Yep, yeah, that is the answer. The answer is actually 20, okay? Beautiful. So we're going to look at one more example. We're going to look at finding what three sevenths of let's have 28. And let's actually add a uh, some sort of unit thing to it. So let's have um, let's say 28 kilograms. So kg, 28 kilograms. Okay. So that's the question. We need to find three sevenths of 28 kilograms. So again, what are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We are going to find out what one seventh of 28 is. Okay. So one seventh hold on uh, so one seventh of 28 is going to be equal to we're going to have 28 divided by the seven so 28 divided by seven okay 28 divided by seven is going to give us four lovely now what do you think we're going to do next we're going to find out what three sevenths is now we now know what one seventh is. We know one seventh is equal to four. So in order to find three sevenths, basically what we need to do is we need to times one seventh by three. Okay, so we've got three sevenths of 28, therefore, is equal to three times four, which is equal to uh, 12. And let us not forget, because we are looking at kilograms, we also need to add the units to it. So kg for kilograms, and it should also be here as well, actually, kg, and it, sh it should be there, uh, yeah, it should be there as well, actually. So yeah, so our answer will be in kgs anyway, okay? So that's three sevenths of 28, which we have just found to be 12 kilograms. Beautiful, okay? Should we look at one more example? Yeah, let's look at one more example, might as well. So let us have this time let us have um okay let's have five eighths of um number five eighths of five eighths of 40 pounds okay so five eighths of 40 pounds okay so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to find out what one eighth is so one eighth of 40 pound is going to be equal to 40 divided by eight which gives us five five pound okay so 40 pound divided by eight or if you're dividing it by eight people, it's going to give you five pound, okay? Now we want to basically find out what five eighths is. So that means we need to times the one eighth by five. Oh, let me get rid of that. Don't know why I do that. Beautiful. So we need to find out what five eighths is. So we're going to basically times the one eighth by five. So five eighths of 40 pound is basically going to be equal to five times the five pound which is going to give us 25 pound Woo! so five six of 40 pound is equal to 25 pound okay lovely so that basically really sums up finding a fraction of a quantity to be honest sometimes you'll be given different quantities you may be given quantities such as you may be given like centimeters you may be given meters you may be given um, euros or you may be given dollars, you know, they can kind of give you any sort of quantity that, yeah, that was meant to be a dollar sign. <laughs> so they can kind of give you any sort of quantity you're looking for um, that they, they want you to find. So, um, yeah, so it doesn't really change much. The way how you work out is still the same. Some of you may not necessarily need to do it this way, but 
for those of you that want to do it that way, you can do it this way. So, yep, fraction of a quantity, that's it. I'll see you guys later.